Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we made a few updates to our mechs last episode. We're going to run those today. Let's uh, have a look at our contracts. I want to jump straight in here. Um, we'll talk along the way. We're going to do Escaping Spy today. Um, so let's do this. Negotiate. We're going to go full salvage. Uh, we do need some currency before the end of the month, but we've got enough days to be able to get it. So I want to go this route, see if we can get some more good salvage. Let's accept. Um, we do have a few things. I want to see if we can launch the fire starter. It's got a damaged arm actuator, which uh, hasn't been uh, removed. I just want to see if we can launch with it. Um, we're going to go with our hunchbacks. Uh, they've been refitted. And yeah, let's do this. Yeah, it's not going to let us do it. All right, let's 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 fix that. I want to make sure we bring the fire starter this time. Uh, so let's go, because we're on a uh, um, arid world here. So mech bays real quick. This will just take a second. It's just pulling a piece off. So I guess they changed that. You used to be able to launch contracts with damaged components, but now you can't, so. Whether it's on or off doesn't really matter. I just like to leave it on because it always reminds me, because when I go in to, to do repair the mechs, if I'm not looking for things like that, uh, I don't, I'll oftentimes forget that I'm missing that arm actuator, which is like plus one to hit, right? You don't want to miss that. Um, so I like to leave it on so that I can see that I need to replace it. Anyway, no big deal. Maybe we get an arm actuator out of this mission. Um, if we get crappy salvage, I'll be choosing an arm actuator. You know, it's funny that people are like, oh, why would you choose that? It's like, well, if you don't have one, it's like plus one to hit with all the weapons in your arm. Why wouldn't you choose it, right? It's a plus one to hit. So anyway, let's deploy this and get it done. <coughs> all right, here we go, fighting uphill again. And looks like we've only got one lance to go through, which is good. And they're positioned up here. All right, let's move. So as we're moving in, I just want to mention, um, I'm starting to get a ton of comments. And I got to say thank you to everybody that's commenting. I really appreciate the comments. Um, good or bad, I like comments all the time. Um, kind of the only way to gauge, um, you know, what people are thinking and stuff like that. Um, but... Uh, Right now, I've been um, sort of putting a heart on all of the comments as I read them. Uh, if you don't see a heart on your comment, that means I've somehow missed it. Uh, don't take it personally. Uh, it's just because as more and more comments come in, I'm most likely going to start missing them. I'm trying to look at and read all of them. So you'll know if I've read your comment, um, if there's a heart on it, because I put heart on, hearts on all the comments that I read. Um, but if I, if I haven't, it most likely means that I've missed it somehow. Not that I'm ignoring you um, or disagree with you or any of that stuff. Um, like I said, whether your comment's positive or negative, I read it and, you know, I, I take it into account. Um, I'm not afraid of negative comments. Say what you want. It doesn't bother me. I'm just doing this for fun. So, But anyway, yeah. that, that, that being said, let's get into the game. All right, uh, Comet, let's get up here. Uh, I want to get you into a position where you're kind of hidden, because you can't hit anybody yet. I got the center tray. Okay, what do we got here? We got Valkyrie, a, a Blackjack, a Hellspawn, and I'm sure there's something else up there. Most likely covered by an ECM or something. Holding for tactical advantage. So we got our warfare suite and our hunchback crap. I can't remember. I think it's the G we put it in. So we want to stay close to the G as much as possible. Yeah, screw you, buddy. You're gonna overheat. So we're going after that guy. It's the thing I really love about uh, oh crap. Megasaur's going like. Wait a minute. Uh, she's in the way. We got a reserve. Um, that's the thing I love about. Uh, mechs that can do overheating damage is that you there's always that one mech usually in the battle that's just gonna constantly be running the red line and all you gotta do is step up and clock him with a couple and it's just he's done for the battle alright uh... Megasaur so we've got two medium pulses and a medium X pulse on this we pulled off with the regular machine guns um, so I'm interested to see how well we do here. Let's, mm, turning our back too much that way. Let's go like this. Roger. And 
Uh, pretty loud. The X pulse has got a better chance to hit, but we're just uh, we're out of we're at long range with the medium pulses, so didn't expect a good chance to hit there. And we'll leave the machine gun off. I don't want to get it jammed when we first starting here, so let's just fire. All right, that's a weak first start. But the thing is too is like you know looking at this, we're using barely any heat, right? So, and this is an arid world world too, which is good. Okay, now so I'm interested in this loadout. The ERs and the heavy rifle. I want to see what kind of melee damage we can do with this guy. Full speed, no target. So we got plus 18 because of the uh, pirate medium lasers. So we're at 60 melee damage. That's actually pretty respectable. For not being a completely dedicated melee mech, we'll at least attack it. Um, God, I love this, how fast this guy is. Yeah, it's kind of iffy on a back shot. Probably not. So we have another mask too that I want to drop into something. Most likely it's going to go in the uh, melee hunchback. But I'm leaving it off for now. Um, just because of the weight, I want to make sure we're putting out as much damage as we can. Nice. Um, before we get into a melee mech, we don't, like, without talons or... Um, that's a specter. Talons or um, some kind of melee arm like a retractable blade or um, spiked fist or something like that. There's no point in trying to make a dedicated melee mech at this point. Alright, we gotta kill this guy. Oh, he's doing something interesting. I guess maybe he really can't... I don't think that's a melee mech. I'm not sure what he's doing then. Um... You just can't see us, that's all it is. So now the question becomes, we should be able to overheat this guy, whether or not he shoots though is another question. Um, are we out of melee range with this guy? Well, I guess we are. Just must just be out of range, because we can get right beside him. Um, don't like that idea though. I want to keep our distance from these guys, so let's move into here. On the move. It seems weird. We're kind of turning our back to this guy, but we're going to have flamers on him in a second. So he's going in 16. Our flamers going in 19. So let's just dump it on this guy. Fire. Missed with the tag. Commander. Okay, Comet, time to do your job. Mm -hmm. That's a little better, but we're out of range. Let's go here. I'm going to move someone up right behind you to protect your back. Okay, let's get the flamers on this guy. Copy that, Commander. Yeah, baby. Good luck firing. Alright, Megasaur. Let's get into here. Do I want to get close to this guy? Probably not. I got a feeling he's coming in for a melee attack, so I wanted to stay at range here for now. Let's use the medium X pulse. 47%, pretty good chance to hit. Nice. We kind of got a nice little shield here for this backside. Wildcree. Yeah, man. For a 30-ton mech, they can kind of hit hard. <clears throat> Full throttle. And I'm only going to fire the large pulse at this moment on this guy. So we panned already. Enemy hit a gyro. Nice. Headbutt. It's okay, we're gonna shut you down next turn. Shut him down. Shut him, shut him down. It's pretty much made, made that guy completely ineffective. I have no idea what's going on with this guy though. Let's find out here in a second. Here comes the Spectre.
damn large laser, eh? Well, it's a good thing we're only fighting one lance here. So this guy's got a problem with gyro. Who? Yes, commander. Um. I'm confused. This is the next turn. This guy didn't go. Eh. Not gonna worry about it. Let's do this. So this guy can't get behind us. R, B, Q. Shut him down. Shut him, shut him down. Okay, here he comes. Is that like 58, I think it said? It's actually pretty respectable. I think it was 58. This guy's almost cored. We can core him, no problem. Wow, he had really low armor. That's shocking to only have 50, 50 armor in the center torso. Um, yeah, Baba Yaga should be able to uh, give this guy the what for. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to fire it all anyway. Another gyro crit. Gyro destroyed. What's up, boss? Let's remove this guy from the game. Let's taunt this other asshole too at the same time. Turn our back to the blackjack just so you can see it. And you can say, Oh, I wish I could punch that guy, but I can't move. Alright. Um don't think we need the machine guns on this one. Well, I guess we should have used them. Not that I'm saving ammo, it's just that I'm doing a couple things, saving a little bit of heat, and I don't want to jam. Seventy-seven percent chance to hit. Let's hit, let's go melee him. Nice. Ah, oh, you missed with the tag. No biggie. We got a warfare suite in that guy too. So. So. So you got. Dead fire ammo, or is he using ATMs? That's interesting. Wait a minute, where does the Valkyrie? Ah, crap! Didn't get a chance to zoom in all the way. Must be nice to go twice in a row, unless this is the Spectre. No, it's the Spectre. Figures. Thirty-four. We're playing, playing Brawl Bots today, guys. Um, so the Valkyrie's got, I think it's the left torso, isn't it? I just want to try and save the launchers on this guy. And I can't see unless that's not it. It's the, in the arm here, okay. So we want to kill him from the other side. I don't know if it's ATMs he's got or if he's got L, uh, LRM with dead fire ammo. Um, but first things first. Commander. Let's do this. <coughs> wow. You see how much, dude? Really? Um, we got multi-target. Oh yeah, by the way, too, I, 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 uh, how much has he got left here? Like nothing. Let's go this route. And we'll put the heavy rifle on B. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta make sure we kill the guy on the ground. Let's tag B as well. Actually, let's go with this C. Let's put the tag on C. Maybe we get a sh lucky hit on him. Um, so I've upgraded my pilot slightly. Made a few choices. I should do it. Yep. 
And... Oh, that looked like I hit him right in the groin. And we got the tag, too. Dude! Dude! Sunflower! Making my day. Um, so, Megasaur, uh, we've got Move and Shoot. Or, sorry, we've got Juggernaut, and we've got Tactician. Uh, I just want it for the resistance to critical hits. Um, for Tactician. Uh, the Resolve Gain and the Initiative. And Tactics Rolls, so that's kind of good. Um, and then, Sunflower. We've got uh, Tactician as well, um, because I want um, uh, Sunflower to be um, our heavy mech pilot. <clears throat> and then, yes, Commander. yeah, Megasaur is going to be a brawl bot. So, uh, and then we've got Red Comet, who's got uh, Ace Pilot as well as Baba Yaga. So we've got two hit and run pilots as well. Anyway, that was just my thought. See how it goes. Uh, let's get Megasaur on god the specter is such a bad chance to hit but we've already hit the front pretty well on this guy if i'm not mistaken got a torso hit so let's go this route and see if we can get that right torso Definitely going to be using the machine guns on this one. Jammed by ECM, I know, but we got much better chance to hit from where we are. Uh, we're going to crank it up to max. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're probably going to jam, but 12 shots at 4. We might have a good chance to take that torso. Let's fire it. There it is. So I think with the situation we're in, there's really no other choice to be able to maximize salvage off that guy. So this guy's heat level's at what? Um, I think we're okay there. That boss is way back there. So let's move into here. And let's start on this Valkyrie here. Um, I'm going to leave off... I know the large pulse has the best chance to hit. Yeah, let's go this route. And we're just going to fire. Okay. Still in good flamer range right here. And fire. Barbecue. Left torso. 60 heat. Panicking. Finally the pilots panic with the... Uh, with the well, I guess maybe it was the torso damage, but uh, in the past... You could hit pilots with flamers and like machine guns and stuff just to try and panic them and it, it, I found in the past it didn't work. Maybe it's working now. But I'm sorry, if you're in a mech that's overheating and you're getting completely roasted every single turn and your mech is melting around you, I think you'd be panicking a little bit. Especially when you can't fire back. Like, what can you do? Like, you're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna stand there and hope you don't shut down. And if you're shutting down every turn, you'd be bailing out because, like, you, you know they're just going to kill you. I'm receiving All right, Comet. Let's get up behind this guy again. Confirm. Can use all our flamers again. Let's do Roger. it. That should do it on this guy. Yeah. That's a kill. Sad story for that guy. Now, can we see the Valkyrie from here? That's the question. We can see him, but we can't shoot him. Okay, I was hoping we could. Well, at least we get to save a little bit of heat there. Ready for order. All right, Megasaur, yeah, we're jammed, it's fine. That's the side we don't want. He's in a good position hiding there, man. Let's get up here. I'm going to try a precision strike on him. Uh, we're going to try for the leg and fire. Oh, we got one hit. That's actually pretty good. I'll take the one hit. Looks like our machine gun array is unjammed now. So we're going to turn off the heavy rifle here. 
not really enjoying this heavy rifle. We gotta find a better weapon system for there for sure. Uh, we're gonna do an offensive push again, see if we can take the leg. Sweep the leg! No. Nope. That's fine. Failed to connect. Yeah, it's fine. See, eight damage. Maybe it's an SRM? He was hitting consi Wow, that's a bad move. He was hitting consistently for seven, so... Don't know... If we were getting any damage reduction or anything for that. I have no idea. Uh, let's leave one flamer off. Uh, two flamers off. Sounds good. That's what I meant to say. MML, yeah! Looks like I need a new target. We all need a new target. It's up here. Let's move up. See if we can find out what we're up against here. Mm. Still don't know. Orders. Let's get that warfare suite up here. It's not in this mech, it's in the other one, but... Uh, he's moving. Wolverine Q. At least it's not an X. I don't know what the Q's got though, so I'm gonna have to Copy that. go and find out. Yeah, if it was an X, I'd be dropping a load in my pants. Quarantine. Okay. Commander? Would you be able to? You can actually see him. I want you to cool off though. Let's get over here. Um, looks like he's got some half decent speed. So we're gonna push him with everybody else this turn. Yes, Commander. Try for some side hits here. Two missile launchers, ballistic, three lasers, full armor. Well, let's quarantine the hell out of this guy. We've just missed. Okay, he's tagged. Let's not run. And machine gun array. Gonna go max on this one. It's probably gonna jam, but I'm okay with that. We gotta get some damage out on this guy. Yaga. Yeah, can we get in for we can get in for a side shot here? Not optimal range though. That's much better. Um, once again, I have no idea what this what weapons this thing has, but we're gonna maximize our damage early on, and we're gonna fire. Oh, well, there we go. XL engine guys, don't run them. And now we gotta get the hell out of here. Come on, somebody fix this. Yeah, somebody fix it. Okay. Going full and in this case, there's no vehicles on the ground, so it's not like that was the issue, which I thought it might have been before. So it must just be something to do with the mission. I don't know. With assassinate missions. Because they should just be able to pick us up right here. But whatevs. At least we got some half decent speed. This would be painful if we're running all assault mechs. Acknowledged. Oh man. Alright. So that went pretty well, I think. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Understood. The large lasers from the uh, blackjack could have taken their toll if we left him unattended, but with the flamer unit and the uh, arid environment, definitely it was a to his disadvantage. It's a good thing they don't have good melee damage. What's up, boss? Could have been a nasty Got bullet. I like to see what we're getting off this Wolverine too. Really interested to find out what uh, what's there. Full throttle. I can't remember what mech parts we do have in the mech bay. Commander. In storage. 
I don't think we really have any Wolverine parts, but it'd be nice if we did. Don't think we're picking up many parts off that guy, though. He went down pretty hard. But, I mean, that being being said, if he has XL Gyro or something like that, that's one of the things we do need, is we need XL Gyros. Just haven't been prioritizing them because it's not giving us any more of a chance to hit. Yeah, it gives us more weapons, possibility, uh, better armor, more equipment, but it doesn't give us um, better chance to hit like pulse lasers and stuff are going to do. So, um, the new loadout on the Hunchback, minus the two large lasers, I'm really liking the, the medium pulses on this guy. There's not much we can do with this one because with three ballistic and three... Um, uh, three laser hard points, there really isn't much we can do. Um, just because of the weapon systems that we have available to us. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go home. Okay, contract payment increased by 25%, that's good news. And we took a little bit of damage, but not much overall. I don't think we took any component hits, so that's good. Yeah, I think we're okay there. So let's see what kind of juicy stuff. Lots of Wolverine Q parts. Nice. We don't have any of those. Spectre parts. Valkyrie parts. Two medium pulse lasers. That's a good possibility for taking those. Um, the only thing I don't like about them is they're two tons. And the heat. So that's two things. Uh, light Pharaoh. I think we have Feral. Retractable Blade. That's a good possibility. Uh, we are working towards Melee Mac. TTS Artemis. Imp. What is the Imp? Plus two accuracy with medium range missiles. Improved medium range missiles. Um, that almost makes taking medium range missile launchers worth it. Because these things are like minus one accuracy, right? But with improved, this this 20, how many rounds are in this, did it say? 200 shots. Are you kidding me? And medium range missiles do how much damage? Six per? Four. Huh. That's like a plus one to hit. And Maram launcher. Hmm. For seven tons, possibility of 80 damage. So eight tons with the ammo. And 10 turns of firing. And we got Endo Steel 2, which we could use on a lot of our mechs. Um, double heatsink kit. That's a good possibility. God, I don't know, man. I almost don't want to give this up. Because how often are we going to see this? Where would it go though? If we're gonna use it, where would where what mech would it go into? That's the question. For that weight. And it's probably I can't think of a mech I would put it into right now. Double heatsink kit is a good option, but we don't really have a lot of double heat sinks. Uh endo steel, medium pulses. We could put one on, we could replace the large pulse on the Wolverine with a pair of mediums. That's a possibility. Tractable blade, we're slowly getting melee stuff for our hunchback. Um, because it's zero tons, extra five melee damage, bonus stability damage, crit hit damage, melee, like regular melee damage, this thing is a good, good option. So we're going to take that. We'll lose the actual uh, the uh, plus one accuracy of the pulse laser on the arm, but 
Increase the melee damage. Uh, okay, so let's go that route. Yeah, leaving so much good stuff on the ground. Alright, Hellspawn piece. One, two, three, four Wolverine pieces. A Spectre piece. Valkyrie piece. Two pulses, which we chose. And junk. Wow. Alright. No biggie. Okay, so 31,000. Not too bad. Made out pretty well on that one. So let's have a look. Let's manage our tasks a bit here. Let's get the Wolverine up for some repairs early. Uh, we want to go this route, this route. So these guys... Well, no, we want to put this one in here. So it gets back sooner. Okay, so let's get that running. Okay, Wolverine's back. Let's have a look now. Um, it's weird. I was, <laughs> I was sitting here listening... Like, while we were loading in, I was listening to the music and I'm like, it sounds like there's two tracks playing. I can barely make out the second one. It's almost like a piano track. I'm trying to figure out what the hell it was. And then I, re I realize it's my youngest kid downstairs playing the key their keyboard. Uh, anyway, uh, that being said, let's see what we can do here. Uh, we got a bit of time. Warfare Suite. We have an ECM we can pull and put the Warfare Suite in this guy. It's 150 meter range. This one's the QS and the extra ton. 120 meter range. Increased sight and sensor, plus one evasion pips. This doesn't give us, does this give us? It does give us evasion. Imposes a penalty of one to sensor checks. Does this do anything? Protects friendlies. Uh, adds a bonus of two to sensor checks made against this unit. A oh, bonus to two made by this unit. Okay, I see. One penalty to jamming. Okay. So that's a possibility. So if we pull the large pulse off. Um, the weapons here. And we drop in a pair of medium pulses. I'm going to put one in each arm. Just to spread out. Um... We got three three tons left over. These are seven tons. Right, I'm thinking of the clan version. So we still got lots of good heat efficiency here. Uh, Alpha strike is 61. Heat sinking is 48. How's that? How's it only 48? Because we don't have a double heat sink. That's why double heat sink engine. Right. We have a heat bank in our exchanger, so that's helping. This is how much heat. 40, and these are 18 each, so. Alright, it's a little better. Um, we're running super hot, though. That's the main, one of the, like, the main problems we're running super hot. Um, so let's pull up the regular ECM. Let's put the Warfare Suite in this guy. Um, I can't lose the partial wing system. Well, it is four and a half tons. We could get Um, we could get three heat sinks that are going to give us the same heat sinking for this. So let's say we take this out. That's going to give us even more weight to work with. Um, we do need to add three heat sinks though. So let's put one in each leg. Warfare Suite can go in the CT. Um, still got lots of tonnage to work with too, right? So let's have a look. Heat sinking wise. What are we at here? 5461. That's actually not too bad. We're getting there. <clears throat> so can't use that. Just put a couple more regular heat sinks in. So that's pretty good. So now we've got two and a half tons to work with here. Sorry, I'm losing my voice all of a sudden. <clears throat> all right. Um, five days. Don't want to increase it too much. We want to get back in the game really relatively quickly. Um, I was thinking about putting the XL gyro in, but I think it's that's probably better on the hunchback. Um, so we can max out the armor. So 
one thing we can do. Uh, definitely on the legs. That's 54 tons. Let's take one off each of these sides. Add two to the CT back. All right, we got one ton left over. What can we do with a ton? What's our heat sinking at? Pretty good. Weapons wise, can we add another? We could add an SRM2. Um, we got lots of ammo, right? We've got 200 shots and we're firing 16. If we fire 18, it's gonna give us 11 turns of firing, which I think is more than enough. So maybe we just do drop an SRM2 in for now. We got enough slots for it. Or do we have, no, I was thinking if we had another tag, we could use that, but um, the only reason why I'm thinking about using the SRM rather than like a medium laser or something is just because um, the heat on it is just six rather than 10. Um, although, Small laser, plus five laser damage. It's closer ranged. I mean, we could just go with a regular medium laser too, cycle it on and off if we had to. Let's do that. Let's just increase the firepower a little more with a medium laser. It's gonna give us a better chance to hit being in the arm too than the SRM in the torso. So let's go that route. Let's confirm it's 11 days. We'll take it. Right. I'll get cool. All right, so let's get that tell his tasks managed we need to bring the Wolverine up so let's put that in slot one this will be back in 11 so 12 days we'll have everything back so let's have a look um, I want to go to the store real quick I just want to sell those internal combustion engines just want to see price wise where we're sitting where are they here um, here and here we got four of them let's sell them Can afford to f sell a few heat sinks here. Keep ourselves at 12. Um, gonna keep the cores. Never know when you're gonna need them. So we're okay for financial report now. So which means we can just choose whatever mission we want. All right, let's get our mechs back and we can go and jump into another battle here. Almost done. There we go. So let's have a look here. Uh, command center, not mech bay. All right. So, man of the people's a possibility. I was just thinking that we got to take some more Karita stuff. That was a, uh, um, that last one wasn't for Karita. This is an escort mission. Mm, 521, though. Pretty good salvage. Final assault. That's a defend base. It's usually trickier. So let's take Man of the People. We're going to do a quick es escort mission here. Hopefully it plays out quick. Let's negotiate this sucker out. We're going to go full salvage. It's always a roll of the dice what we're going to get on this, but we'll go full salvage. Let's deploy. Alright, pretty much straight up escort mission here. Should be good. Your eyes clear and watch your I, copy. I should really have you and the other hunchback. I keep forgetting to change them around. Ah, gotta remember to do that. I need a notepad just to write shit down on up here. Okay, um, I'm here. Let's get up here. Acknowledged. Yeah, it's nice to be able to take these escort missions where you've already made your financial report for the month. You can just go full salvage and roll the bones on what you get. You may get good stuff or just maybe all vehicles, who knows. But it is a two-skull mission, so I'm hoping we get some good stuff out of it. I'm also hoping next episode that um, we're able to finish up our uh, rep with Karita. We do? Where? I don't see it. Um, cool. Unknown what? Let's go find out. Oh, he's over here. Way over here. Spider. Well, yeah, let's just move in here. We don't have the large pulse, so we can't fire it now, but don't really mind. We're 
designed for close in fighting, so that's okay. We're knife fighters. Locust on this side. I'm sure there's a couple mechs in here hidden. At this point, I'm kind of welcoming stuff with like ECMs and things like that, because, uh, well, maybe not. Just thinking that maybe we can pick some up, but I think we've got enough ECMs and stuff now, so. Get another guy back here. Another locust. Standing by. Yeah, just get in. You don't need to fire. Let's just get into the fight. We'll be on the we'll be in on these guys like white iron rice or brown iron rice next turn. Receiving. Depending on what color rice you like. We can pulse this guy up though. Firing away. So a couple of machine guns and a medium laser. Commander. Okay, Ms. Flowers. Moving in the water gives them better sensor checks against her, but they know we're here, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna fire everything. Okay, tag hit, for sure. It looked like we hit him with uh, one of the other lasers, too. Did we? Don't think we did. I think it was just a tag. Alright, what are they doing? Oh, you're gonna melee already? You know you got guys behind you, right? If you're a Wolverine Axe, I'd be all like, wow, good move. But you're not. You're just going to die. Alright, what are they doing? They watched they watch that guy run in there and they're like, no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta get the hell out of here now. He's gonna die. Affirmative. He is gonna die. Yeah, let's finish him up. Blocking it all away. Did I turn the machine gun off by accident? Unless it jammed right away. I didn't see a jam notification. Did I accidentally turn it off? Could have. ADD much? I don't know. I won't know now. No, I didn't turn it off. It's not jammed. Did it just not fire? Am I blind? Probably I'm just blind. Wolverine with masks, man. Dead Lee. Alright, let's see how well we do here. I know it's a back shot, but having the extra extra shot shooting on this guy. Wolverine 7K. Light mech killer. Oh, this guy doesn't even get to move before we can kill him. Alright. Okay, I heard the machine is going to go off that time. I didn't hear them go off last time. Maybe I just didn't see it. It's highly likely. Wow, we actually go before both these guys. Wow. These guys just must be stunned into non-existence at this moment. Firing. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Standing by. God, these guys just painful for them. Sorry, but. 
Wow. Negative damage. Repeat. Ne yes, Commander. Yeah, we got some chances to hit, so why not? Let's go. Affirmative. Wow, three of them. If that was me, I'd have bailed out by now. Like, what's the point? Alright, let's get this mission running. Uh, where is... There's the hex there. So, let's get uh, Red Comet to activate them. And... Waiting for orders. Megasaur. So you're gonna take longer to go around or go through the water? Let's find out. On the move. Full speed. I don't feel that threatened right now. I don't think we're gonna have a hard time with this one. Nice. Let's just cool down. Engaging physical attack. Enemy mech destroyed. Alright, so yeah, we're in pretty good position to handle this. Acknowledged. If we got a second lance, we should be okay, I think. Alright. Let's get these guys moving. Hope they all stick together this time. Oh, we got another lance up. Okay. Got a vehicle. Fire truck acid. Commando SP. Well, they boxed me in. <laughs> I took out my jump jet. <laughs> Sorry, that's just awesome. Oh, what my life. My life, I swear to God. It's just like this all the time. <laughs> they boxed me in. Oh, God, that's awesome. Well, at least we get to... <laughs> at least we get to lose our... Uh, Instability. Just gonna hang out here with you guys. You don't mind, do you? Alright, Jenny Flowers, let's get up here. Oh, we got that guy over there. I think I want to get right on this commando, though. Okay, I picked up another blip here, I think. Yeah, what do we got here? Galleon. Eh, 40-something. Much better chance on this guy. Let's get the heavy rifle on him while we can. Nice. Target acquired. All right, Megasaur, the vehicle's all yours over here. If we can actually hit it, nope, not within range. So we'll stay behind the rock. Roger, full speed. Yeah, so I'm feeling the lighter mechs. Max, maybe I'm wrong, um, but if you're running lighter max like this, by. Um, having long-range weapons. I mean, yeah, it, it can give you an advantage, but I don't think with the speed that these mechs have at this point, they're 100% necessary, especially because of the weight, right? Like, ER medium, sure, one ton, extra heat, but, um, thanks, they let me out, nice. But, um, because you can move so far, there's really no point in, in, uh, like, for instance, the large pulse on this. Yeah, 3 times 25 damage, and it was very accurate, sure. But because I can close, having these three is actually more damage overall and more chances to hit. And it gives me better heat options, too. Like, I can choose... Hmm, who do we want here? I can deselect, like, before it was, like, taking off the large pulse laser, laser completely. Now I can leave one medium pulse off and turn the other one off and still be shooting every turn. So that's a huge advantage in itself, right? Standing by. 
All right, Megasaur. Let's get over here. I don't know if we can get uh, just the X pulse on this guy. Uh, nothing. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna switch the hunchbacks around next turn. You should be punching anyway. Wow, large laser on that mobile HQ, really? Sure, man. Don't hit me with acid. God, this guy's such a bad position. Slow pilots. Oh, he had a vibro shiv, and he's gone. Thank goodness. SP. I have to keep that in mind. I, th I thought it was the pirate for like I knew it was a pirate version. I didn't realize it was SP. I thought it was just a pirate that had the vibro shiv, but it's the SP. I have to keep that in mind for our, like the next battles because that thing is like deadly, man. You get shivved by that thing. It's like insanely deadly. Been there, done that. Get on this guy. Don't know how tough he is, but we'll hit him with everything. Oh, not quite enough, eh? We're spreading that damage around. Enough for all sides. Commander? Um, 40 step damage or flamers. Let's do the flamers. Move order received. There you go. Confirmed. Uh, now let's get Baby Yaga over to help out uh, Megasaur here. Wow, look at the look at the the, ah, the mask system, man. Like, see what I mean? We don't need the large pulse on this thing. Like, we're now we're in like point blank range again. Firing. That should do it. Yep. Nice hit. Alright. Ms. Flowers. Stepping for 120 damage with the tag. Let's just do that. Oh my god! I didn't want to shoot because I thought the rifle was going to miss too and I thought it would just be better to step, but apparently not. Nope, no joy at all. He better not destroy a vehicle. He's so angry. We're gonna get crap salvage out of this. Warning. Enemy in rear arc. Uh-huh. Allies are not moving? What's up, boss? Copy that. Terminated with prejudice. One more for the trash heap. Commander. Okay, they should move now. Can't believe they didn't move. Get into visual and strike position here. The reinforcements, if they were, I've got a feeling we're going to have another set of reinforcements. Waiting for orders. Confirmed. Let's just get into here. Shepherd these guys along. Okay. Getting into position over here. Order. Mm, 
I think it needs to be here. Yeah, man, that, that my <laughs> my youngest downstairs playing piano. It's like throwing me off. The music is just like wow. It's so it's like disconnected and it's got like this weird tone to it. And I'm like, oh no, it's just my kid trying to play over top of the, the regular BattleTech music. I'm receiving you. All right, uh, I think you're fine there. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. Come on, man, get up there. Okay, you're fine. Yep. Right, what do we got here? Oh, of course it's a gorilla, because what else would it be? A dagger, rapier, venerable Bishop Steiner. Why don't you just kick me in the groin? Like, come on! Waiting for orders. My god, we're going to take so much damage here. Target confirmed. Negative damage. Oh my god. I don't know now. What do we kill? I'm here. Stay there. All right, but I'm ready to go. Yeah, it's, I'm ready to get the hell out of here too, but we ain't we can't. Um We need to ambush these guys. Ambush and focus fire. Is this gonna be enough cover? Probably not. But we gotta take it. Get our our chevrons up. That gorilla is terrifying me right now. I think it makes short work of our whole lance. The worst thing is he's standing in the water, so overheating him is going to be really difficult. What's up, boss? Um, I think you need to move to a position where they can't see you. That's what's up. Location confirmed. We might get lucky, the vehicles might actually make it into the thing. And then we can just try and get the hell out of here. Oh, of course, drive where they're going to actually be able to see you. That's a really great idea. Yes, Commander. No, you don't need to move yet. Roger. Vent and eat. We're setting up a trap here. Not much of a trap, but they got to start moving before we can do anything. They can't move very far in the water. Get a dagger. Uh, we're gonna reserve Megasaur. Waiting for the shot. So the Venerable Bishop Steiner, if you don't know, has got this powerful laser on it. Okay, it's going against the vehicle. Don't hit the vehicle. Don't look at this thing. Well, at least they're leaving now. <laughs> at least they're leaving. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna die horribly! <sighs> Get the hell out of there. Ready for orders. Get the hell out of there. Um... Get back here. Just running. Good job. Okay. Now we have to use this hill to our advantage. I think we're going to have to do what we did before. Against those clan mechs. Okay. So what we want to do, uh, now that we're in a very precarious position, is get behind this hill. That uh, gorilla is basically relying on direct fire. So is the Venerable Bishop Steiner. Most likely the Rapier and the Dagger will try to move in and we can kill those guys off. So let's get back here. Full we need to be out of their line of sight here. 
that hill should more than do it. I'm just hoping that uh, Sunflower can move. I'm here. Let's just move a little bit. Let's get over here. Yep. Standing by. It's just getting Megasaur across that gap. I think we should be okay if we sprint it into here. Just it really depends on where they move to. Okay, it's the dagger with the LRM chaff ammo, it looks like. Yes, Commander. I don't think they're gonna be able to see us here. Got it. Not with our ECMs and everything up in the hill, I think we're fine, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna maneuver our way around. I'm hoping the rapier comes in. And then we'll just trash it. Standing by. We're gonna move our way around this way. They have no idea where we are, so I'm not sure where they're gonna approach from. What's up, boss? On my way. Double time. Ready for orders. Understood. Moving back. Now the Wolverine's got bonus sensor checks, so I think we'll leave. Oh, they can see us. It's gonna leave her there to be able to see them, but they gotta start moving in closer or else. We can't do a damn thing. It's only if they all if they all move together as a pack, that's when it becomes a huge issue. Okay, so the Wolverine's going to become our heavy-ass scout mech. It's got the most armor. Mm, still can't see him. Need a beagle probe. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. It's gonna take a while, guys, but uh, just stick with me here for a bit. Got it. Full speed, no target. The most vulnerable mech is obviously the fire starter. If that was all desert, open field, it would still be vulnerable, but far more useful. Right now, it's like moving in with it is just a waste of time, unless one of their mechs is already overheating. I just want like. Just a rapier or something to come up over the hill. Holding for tactical advantage. That's a lot of. Um, I'm gonna try for a hit and run with Baba Yaga. I'm interested to see where their mechs are. So we're gonna do a full speed run with her in a second. Let's get up over here. We do need to get the hell out of here. We got a nice ridge line we can kind of get some cover in, depending on where they are. Okay, nice. Welcome to the battle, Mr. Dagger. trash him and then hope the uh, rapier decides to show its ugly face god it's just put open me up for a possible kill if I move in here I gotta shoot him in the front I guess pretty safe unless they come up around the corner I think I don't think they will, and I lost control of my mouse here. Why does it do that? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, targeting this guy. Okay, good start. I think we've got dagger parts too. We can claim a dagger off another mission. All right, Megasaur. Um, 
That's a side shot. That's weird. Yeah, I still think we're fine there. And firing. Okay, respectable damage. Stability check failed. That's pretty much going to end his life. I just got this flash now. I've got this fear that um, what's going to end up happening is um, we'll kill this guy, we'll kill the rapier, and then the gorilla will engage with us, and we'll be on our way to killing the gorilla when that venerable Bishop Steiner will show up and just murder us. Oh, next turn? Yeah, sure, man. Um, let's do this, so if he gets up, he can't run away. We miss with everything. Attack failed. That's cheating right there. That's what I'm saying. So I'm calling cheat. Receiving you. I'm gonna move back. I don't feel comfortable being that far forward. Let's target this guy. Gonna go for CT hits. Okay, that's it for that guy. Thanks for showing up, buddy. So do I. Thought we were gonna get shit salvage up until a little while ago. Okay, it's reserve. Let's see if that rapier sticks his nose out. Take it clean off. I almost want to move forward. Just to see where they're at, but... Yeah, there he is. Hey Bubba, what's up? Alright, we can leave off the medium laser and fire the rest. It's nice having that option now. Um, let's get back to here. Okay, Miss Flowers, let's, uh, hmm. It's all going to be partially obstructed no matter where we go, so let's not move in too close. Really bad chances to hit, but we're taking them. Okay, one hit, not bad. Let's open for the tag, but no go. Okay, we're going to reserve this up. Okay, machine gun's jammed, but that's fine. Probably the medium pulse. Okay. Taking a bit of a chance doing this. Because I don't know where that gorilla is. Um, wow. Leave those off, fire the rest. Ah, I was hoping to get that leg. Okay, we still got a chance. Roger that. Yeah, we're still in pretty good protection. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah, baby. I like them apples. Okay, they're down to two. The two t horrific mechs that I don't want to be facing at this moment. Oh, just brace. It's going to be the gorilla that comes over the hill next. So we got to make sure... We got our uh, evasion uh, chevrons moving here. Get you back here. Aye. Just so that hopefully that guy can't see you. Gordon there he is. Received. That's got to be the... Uh, no, it's the Venerable Bishop Steiner. Okay. If they both crest the hill, we got to run. 
I mean, the other thing is to just quickly rush the, uh, the Steiner. I'll take the hesitation minus. There he is. You nasty fucker. That Steiner is in a position to strike us too if we... <sighs> nah, maybe not. So here's the plan. We go up this way. We... So he can't see us because he's in here. Right? He's down in the valley here. So we come up on this hill and hit this guy. And then if the Steiner comes around, we take off this way. That's the plan. Stan. Let's get our chevrons up on this mother frigger. God, I hate these things. On an open field battle, these things are just friggin' nightmares. Okay, we got the tag on him. I'm so excited for the tag. Can you tell? Yeah, we're tagged. Nah, this is a bad move, I know, but it's all or nothing on this thing now. Crap, look at the chance to hit on this guy. Just get one. Nope. I'm gonna get the Wolverine right up his nose, I think. Let's go with Megasaur next. Machine guns are jammed, that's okay. Wow. Best as it's gonna get, I guess. I don't want to move too far forward. Let's get into here. Hopefully, we get initiative next turn. We can hammer him and back up. It's best as it's gonna get, I guess. Crap, man. We're gonna be overheated so badly. Leave one medium laser off. Wow, I don't even get to go next. Standing by. What's the chance this guy's gonna come around the corner? Has he got enough move? Might be a little better to go here. Yeah, oh, God. I'm just freaking out. We can't even detect him yet. This thing's got a crazy ECM on it, so it's like... At least we got one. There he is. Shit, he can see us. Okay, we got exposed structure on this guy now. It's the arm. Um, I almost want to try and get behind this guy. I think it's more important to take this guy down. Did we go in the red line? I don't think so. Silver bullet goss explosion. Okay, let's back it up. Yes, Commander. Heading out. 
Oh man, hope this works out. Okay, we got the tag on him again. Jesus Christ. 135 damage. Did you guys see that? Thank God you changed targets. That could have been so much worse. Make it so the Steiner can't see us. Turn the heavy rifle off. And fire the rest. Okay, another arm hit. Or something on that side. At least we got a tag on him. You need to get the hell out of there. Turn your opposite side to that guy. <sighs> Hate to use it now on this guy, but we got to. Okay, getting that heat up there. Man. I think we need to move first. Is there a way we can get him from the side? Without exposing ourselves to that friggin' Steiner? I don't think so. I think we have to attack here and then move. Alright, firing. I'm putting myself in a position where that guy can shoot me. Um, simply because I've got lots of armor left and this uh, fire starter doesn't. Don't know if that's going to be enough movement to get away from the Steiner though. Let's get down here. All right, so um, leave the machine gun array off for now, but we'll fire the rest. I, I want to use it when we've got much better chances to hit, so we can get some more crits on them. Hopefully get some more crits on them. Okay, what are they doing? Okay. He shut down. Sucks to be you, buddy. Standing by. Yeah, we don't even have a good chance to hit anyway. Oh, we got one hit though. Let's get back here. I think that might be enough. Let's fire. Okay, cool. Enemy mech destroyed. Now we gotta cool off before we face this friggin' Steiner. It's 
all going to be back attacks against the Steiner. Yes, Commander. It's got an ECM too. Aye, aye. Oh no, that's sorry, that's coming from here. This turn. Waiting for orders. No, I think the Steiner's got an ECM too because we can't see him. Position confirmed. Reserving action. Waiting for my opening. I have a rough idea when he goes. Receiving you. All or nothing, guys? Thinking so. Yeah, you know what? I'm just... No. Not yet. We're not close enough. Let's move into here. Move order received. We need back shots. Commander. On the move. I think I one more turn... Yeah, oh God. Stay back here. Order acknowledged. He's gonna be super cool when we get there. I think one more turn of cooling off for us is gonna be valuable. Okay, we're gonna reserve it right back again. He's going around 14 or 13, something like that. Got to be there somewhere. He fucking vanished? He vanished! Oh, crap! Oh, no! Oh, my God. Where the hell did he go? Where the hell is he? Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. You got all the way to the frig over there. Uh, let's leave the heavy rifle off, and we're gonna fire the rest. Firing. You little shit! Look at him. That's a miss. Waiting for orders. Let's get back over here for now. Standing by. Freaking ghosted us, that guy. On it. Let's get some shots on him while we can. Uh, leaving the machine guns off. Hoping he moves out of there. Failed to connect. Plus four to hit in there is like really bad. We're gonna move embrace. I still want you within striking distance, but get behind the rock here. Waiting for orders. We're in melee range. I think meleeing this guy at this point is a really, 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 really bad idea. Heading out. Hundred and thirty eight damage or whatever the hell that was, hundred and thirty five. Okay, he's out of there. Don't shoot. Okay. Pulsed PPC jammed. I'm here. You don't want to jam, man. What's up, Bubba? We're coming for you. We are coming for you. Yeah, he looked right at me too when I came down. He's like, no! Yes, Commander. Side attack only is 
attacks only, I mean. Um, no, machine gun race stays off for now. I'd love to have one of these guys for a light lance. Okay. All right, there's the leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I'm glad I didn't rush it last time. Let's see if we can take that other leg. Can you even hit him, for Christ's sake? With like 90% chance or whatever the hell it was. His weapon is jammed, I think, so I don't think he can fire. I could totally be wrong. Let's get on this side of him and soften him up. And yeah, fire. Roger that. Okay, we got both legs. Nice. Target down. There it is, folks. Mission successful. So I think we did fairly well getting out of there with just an arm loss and a couple flamers missing. So we got those flamers. We can replace them. Not too bad overall. He did 100 and some odd damage. Luckily, we had a full strength arm that absorbed most of the damage on that. Um, it could have been worse if he, he could have taken a leg or he could have hit the torso and would have just really wrecked us. But, uh, yeah, we got really lucky on that hit. These are easily replaceable. Well, the upper arm's not because we don't have one, but uh, the rest of it's no problem. All right. So we can't complete any mechs here, so we're not going to take any of those. But what do we got here? Pirate, medium heavy laser, no, medium laser, medium X-pulse. Let's throw that in. Um, MRM launcher, NARC, another tag, case two, which we've been looking for, AMS, that's kind of cool. Um, engines, XL, clan. You kidding me? Exchanger clan? FCS predator. Increase sight range, improve call shot by 10%. Advanced zoom, thermal vision, heat threshold. Interesting. Ultralight gyro. Heat sink cooling pods, minus 5% weapon heat. Hmm. Prototype heat sink kit. We got a prototype heatsink. NSS, which we've already got in stock still. Pirate fire control system. It's adding recoil though. Rangefinder. I was talking about getting one of these things. 100 base sight distance, plus one initiative. TTS energy, plus two accuracy with energy weapons. 40% increased crit chance, 10% increased range. Another warfare suite. I don't know, guys. I think the Clan XL engine, it's going to cost a lot to put that in. But I'm wondering if we just, I know you're going to hate me for saying this, if we just sell it, it'll allow for a lot of other upgrades. Um, I think I want to go this route. I think this is probably a good idea. I want to get that X-Pulse on. The TTS Energy is a huge bonus. Because we can have so many more, uh, if we have a lot of pulse lasers and stuff, a much better chance to hit and damage. Um, alright, let's go this route. 
So we got two gorilla parts. Excellent. That's a good start. Locust, rapier, spider, urban mech. Yeah, I want to get one of these guys. Um, heavy medium, medium laser, a couple machine guns, snark launcher, a hand. Cool, because we lost one. Um, no lower arm. Heat sink cooling pot. Oh, amazing. That's awesome. All right, guys. A lot of planets change hands. Did that turn not bad? 67,000. Yeah, you know, we lost a leg. Or we lost that arm, so I expected that. But it's only 12 days for repair. All right. So the fire starter we want to have at the top because we want to replace that. It's really the only the fire starter and Wolverine took damage? Wow. I th okay. That's awesome. All right. So I think what we'll do, we got enough money for our financial report. So what we'll do most likely at the beginning of next episode is to refit our lance fire starter needs to be replaced but you know it's a good actually a good thing that our hunchbacks didn't get damaged because i want to switch them up a little bit uh, we definitely need the melee hunchback in the hands of megasaur um, and then i think the other hunchback since it's got more um, laser points um, i think we're going to put a bunch of pulses on that guy plus the the uh, laser TTS system and things like that get that guy tricked out a little better I think that's probably the best way to go all right so we're gonna leave the episode there hope you liked it if you did drop a like in the, in, uh, in the comment or drop a like down below <laughs> if you got a comment drop it in the comment section down below um, yeah until next time we'll see you all later